twitchotropic nature and in this video I will show you how you can use body movement animations in React. So we already made a video a while back about how you can use body movement animations with Elementor, uh, but lately we have been using React for a lot of web design projects. So I thought it's a great idea to show you guys how to do this because Believe it or not, I didn't really find any way to actually do it. All the ways that other people suggest didn't really work for me. And like the documentation is really, really confusing to me. What we're going to be using in this video is the Lodi Web library by Airbnb. So this is the officially supported one. Um, if you do a search for React Lodi, there are a bunch of other components specifically for React, but these didn't, these didn't really work for me. I don't know why. Let's just go ahead and create a React app. So while this is installing, let me show you where you can get all your animations. If you go to lodifiles.com, uh, you will find a lot of animations created by the community. And these are all animations that have been exported from Adobe After Effects. Since today is Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, I thought this animation would be cool to use for this tutorial. So thanks to Dimitro Korolkov, thanks for this animation. If you go to this site and you download animations, you will see that it's a JSON file. That file contains the entire animation, so including any images or whatever. So I've gone, gone ahead and I put this file into the project folder, which I am creating right here. So once this finishes installing, I'm going to go ahead and say code test one open a code window and you can see I already put this JSON file in here, right? So let's give it a shorter name, make it easier to work with. And I'm going to put this into a folder called animations. Let's cd into our thing and let's start our site. This is the default uh, create react app template and let's just put an animation in there, shall we? So go into the app.js. By the way, I've tested this with Gap Gatsby as well. so. Any React environment should work with this. So Gatsby, create React app. I'm not sure about server rendered, but pretty sure it's going to work the same way. If anyone has ever tried using body moving with server rendered, I'd be interested in your opinion. So let's go ahead and delete this logo. Let's make a div. All this div really needs is it's a container for our animation, right? So uh, since we're in React, we're going to do it the elegant way and we're going to make a ref. A ref, we're going to call it animation container. Up here, we're going to say let animation container and we're going to say react create ref. So now the image is gone and we have our ref. Just to make sure that we actually have it, let's uh, make a console log of our ref. You're going to see that the ref is a diff. So that's great. So let's go ahead and give that div a class as well. That I will do just to give it some CSS. Let's give it a height and width. And for now, I'm going to give it a background color. Just so we know that it's actually there, right? How do we get our body moving animation there? So for that, we're going to need the Lodi web library. So npm install Lodi web. So once you install this, you are going to want to, first of all, import it, of course. So import. Lodi from Lodi web. And now we have access to a new function, load animation. And all this does is it loads our animation, right? But first of all, we're going to have to do this once our component has mounted, right? So since we are in a, uh, in a function component, we're going to use, use effect. We're going to say, wait, we don't need all of this cleanup. And we want to basic, we want to run this when the component mounts. So we leave this empty. And now we can say lodi dot load animation. What this takes is, is simply an object, which is the options object for this load animation, right? So what we need here is a container. We need that. And we need animation data. Also need that. So the container, as you can imagine, is why we just made that ref. So we're going to say animation container dot current, get the current instance of this animation container. And animation data is going to be the animation. So we have to import this as well. We're going to say import animation from 
and go into the folder animations and it's called happy.json. So and here we're gonna pass in that animation. So let's see what happens. Huh? And there we go, there's our animation, right? So this looks easier, you know, easier said than done, probably. What you can do now is you can say you can say const anim and, and assign this to a constant. And this will allow you to call some methods on your animation instance. This is, uh, this is all the stuff you can do. So if you say anim.setSpeed to set it to two, it's going to play in double speed. Can put it to triple speed. This all works, right? There's another way to load the animations if you don't want to load the JSON directly for some reason, which is to use the path property. So if you say path, you can specify a path that, uh, and basically Lodi will make a request to that path, right? So if I just move that, mo uh, that folder to public, I can say animations, let's comment that because he's gonna complain. Animations, and then we say happy.json. And as you can see, it also works. And now we have publicly hosted the animation and yeah, there are some additional parameters you can use. So for example, the renderer, you can disable the looping, say play it only once. You can uh, disable autoplay, say don't play, just play when I call the uh, play method or something like that. And the great thing in my opinion is that even though this is not a React library, we are still have, we still have a modular structure because we use the reference. Uh, you can also go ahead and call document at element by ID, but then you won't be in the in the virtual DOM of React, of course, right? So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, this is how you use body moving animations in React. Like I said, this also works with Gat with Gatsby. So yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you guys if you want to see this React content on this channel because before we kind of did Elemental content on this channel, so yeah, we want to go over to React and we're thinking about making a new channel or doing it here on this channel. Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you liked it, leave a like and see you next time.